Hi, I'm Alex from Officina Battaglin and I'm in the co-founder of, of the brand. So uh, this year we, we have the, the new uh, pave, is a frame for gravel. Clearance is uh, uh, 50 millimeter clearance. Uh, this is a, a steel frame. We do in seven size available, stock size. And uh, we, we have two different combination of main color is white, pearl white uh, and chromo velato. Obviously with the chromo velato, we can customize uh, to the chromo velato as the customer wants. This is the Roma, the new project, uh, the latest project we have. The whole upper part is steel. The whole down part uh, is steel. We combine uh, the, with the forced carbon, head tube, seat tube and stays uh, in carbon. This is, uh, we, re we can reduce uh, the, the weight of the frame, but uh, maintain uh, also the, the right feeling of the steel. And this is a very exciting project because we have stainless lug, stainless steel lugs, and uh, the tube is customized for us from Columbus. Hey, I'm Craig DeBoer at Buendia Bicycles. Here are some of my bikes. Uh, personal fixie. Uh, running hi-fi wheels and Paul hubs. Got a little brass jackrabbit head badge alert and ready to bolt on the front. And a little wolf charging up the drive side chainstay in pursuit. And then this guy over here is a little city bike mixie. Generator hub to lights front and back. And a little spur cycle bell tucked up under the stem and a big stainless rack. Twenty-six inch wheels for a very, very short person and it fits them perfectly. Hey there, I'm Chris from Good Grief. This is our bike that we have here made. We've named it the Crop Top. Uh, we have integrated front rack here with the Ron's bike bag. We have a half truss fork with four fork blades, a uh, custom fork crown that I designed and cut. We got a double top tube coming across the top, all electronic shifting, mechanical paw clampers front and rear, dynamo routing up front with a sine wave light, white industries, Simworks pedals. Uh, we have an integrated rear rack that is made specifically for these Fjall Raven panniers that are waterproof. Everything integrated so you never have to worry about your rack or any of your luggage. Coming back here, we have another bike packing bike with a bag that's actually made out of upcycled IKEA bags, including a tote and an underbed bag made by Dark Void. We have a fixed gear ATB right here in the back coming in in blue, spaced 135 front and rear, so you have two different gearing options. And we have our shred sled back here, owned by Austin Bickford, who's uh, quite the shredder. So this is what he uses to test all of his components on. Morning, I'm Brian with Liminal Machine Works. This is a fun little project I've been working on. It's a steel frame with a retro direct gearing system. It's a really old drivetrain from the 1900s before we had derailers. You get one ratio pedaling forwards, and you get another one pedaling backwards. I machined a couple of components so you can mount it on anything that has a standard derailleur hanger or an XD driver, and a really long chain. It's a little noisy because you've always got one free wheel that's moving backwards. This is a prototype, but uh, if I don't break it, they'll be for sale soon. I'm Chris McGovern uh, of Seeker Cycles here in Portland at the Maid Show. Got my uh, cross bike. We're bringing cross bikes back. Portland's the perfect spot for that. This is a steel bike. We've got the Envy in route system with the, the new Wolf Tooth integrated headset system. Super clean. Your braking, your braking goes from lever to brake caliper, all internal. 
sweet build, enduro bottom brackets, enduro pulley wheels, hi-fi wheels, hi-fi's from Portland. Reform saddles, like moldable saddles, it's a pretty cool bike. This is version one of our of our gravel bike. This is version two of that bike there. This that bike there was ridden at Unbound and Lost and Found this year. Big shakedown. The new version has UDH. We've changed the stays. A little more clearance for chaining and tires. So updating as gravel changes, right? Um, our all road bike is essentially you know fit, fitting 33c again in, in the in route system um, t47 external bbs super serviceable bike this is our first mountain bike kind of xc style new school xc style hardtail um, t47 with 86 mil bb shell so internal bearings Pretty sweet setup. It's it's also UDH with T-type. Fox Fox hooked us up with the uh, World Cup 50th anniversary. I think that thing's like a thousand gram fork. It's super crazy. So pretty sweet. FSA hooked us up with this really sweet one piece bar stem. Turned out, turned out looking pretty good. High post for life, you know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Walter Wheatfall, Wheatfall Cycles, and I'm exhibiting at the Maid Show. I have brought three bikes. So uh, the first one is a, a two-niner uh, mountain bike. It's designed around a 160 millimeter fork. And uh, it's the first bike that I had in mind when I started designing bikes. So this particular one is, uh, Probably the bike that I ride the most in terms of uh, in terms of mileage, and then the second bike that I brought, uh, I call it an ASMB. It's for both road and gravel, and have the ability to run a 700C road or a 650B gravel wheel set. Uh, and it's probably the bike I ride the second most. <laughs> and then the third bike that I brought is a uh, it's a one by specific gravel bike. Uh, this particular bike is a really good friend of mine who's pretty tall so it's a larger size it's about a 60 and it's designed to also take fenders and um, if somebody wants to other you know add fenders or something like that or some racks they can so so those are the three bikes that I brought I have a couple other designs and uh, yeah thanks for checking them out hi my name is Fred Cuthbert and I build Wolfhound cycles out of Talon Oregon this is my new mountain bike and it features some custom curves it's got progressive geometry a 65 degree head tube angle and a 78 and a half degree seat tube angle it's got a cool custom curvy rear brake mount and uh, clearance for up to a three inch tire custom fender with integrated mount and over here I have my new gravel bike it also has progressive geometry with a long wheelbase and a short stem 70 degree head tube angle 76 degree seat tube angle custom lug work integrated fenders painted to match